For some farmers in central Massachusetts, it's the sweetest time of year. Right now is the peak time for maple sugaring in our region, and it's a big business for local farms. Our Brittany Schaefer visited one today and has a look at what goes on into making the sweet treat. Brittany? That's right, Olivia. In fact, Massachusetts is the ninth largest producer of maple syrup in the country. Today, I got a tour of one of the largest producing maple farms in the state. Dale Wentworth says he's lucky if he can use his $70,000 maple sugaring equipment six weeks of the year. We can always get spiky temperatures that are abnormally warm without a freeze at night. We've survived a couple of those events, but um, the weather coming up might make or break the whole season. Massachusetts had a record season of maple syrup production in 2015, according to the Massachusetts Maple Production Association. Wentworth and his wife own Warren Farm in North Brookfield. They are one of the top maple syrup producers in the state. Maple producers like Wentworth depend on the weather, and no two years are alike. It made me nervous because we, uh, we usually do the bulk of our crop in March, and last year it was in April. It's so weather dependent. Wentworth has 175 acres and taps 2,700 trees per season. He says there's no job he would rather do, but the work is not for everybody. In this line of work, you have to be a weatherman first, a jack of all trades really, mechanic, electrician, plumber. This season, the Wentworth started tapping trees in February. We're looking for a nighttime temperature of at uh, about 20 degrees, 24 degrees, and a daytime high of 42. The Wentworths make more than just maple syrup. They make maple candy, cheesecakes, and spreads you can find all over the state. It's really all it takes. Maple syrup isn't the only business the farm has. Wentworth also expects over 200 people to visit this weekend for tours. Olivia, back to you. All right, Brittany.